We have been working on some um, intelligent reports regarding the operations of the two institutions that you have seen, Allison Community College and Atlas College. And um, this is an operation that was jointly done by us and the team from uh, the security. Uh, our main uh, purpose here was to ascertain the registration status of these uh, two colleges. One atlas is registered with us. However, this one, uh, Alison, is not uh, one of our registered institutions. And um, we also wanted to find out exactly why uh, they are operating uh, illegally without registration and the reason why they have not registered the, the fact that they know they are supposed to register. Uh, some of the documents in our possession are the brochures, which actually indicate to the members of the public that Allison College is one of our registered institutions and therefore, with that kind of information, the members of the public have been able to register. Of course, one of the things that you saw is that um, quite a number of the students who are here uh, do not have the proper documentation to the effect that we are able to identify them, to know whether they are Kenyans or otherwise. And that one we have left it to the security team to do further investigation. So at this point we have uh, closed the college until they register as required by law. I also want to use this opportunity to urge Kenyans, whenever you are looking for training opportunities, one of the things that you are supposed to ascertain is the legality of that institution both in terms of registration of the institution and the licensing of the programs which they are offering. Because sometimes you may end up doing courses which at the end of the day will not lead to qualification, uh, recognized qualification. And therefore it's our urge that um, uh, Kenyans to verify this before they register. As you know, uh, basic education in this country is free both primary and secondary and therefore we don't expect um, children who are underage to be studying in college but of course uh, the other thing that you found out uh, when we were interviewing them you found out that uh, they could not express themselves in English or Kiswahili that probably uh, uh, bring a lot of questions and that again we have left to the security team to find out and um, it is, it's, it's going to be unfortunate for the management of this institution if they are going to um, conduct themselves in a manner that it is, as I said, breaching uh, the security.